Hallo Leute, ich bin die Melli und ich bin gerade für die Techniker in Los Angeles und auf dem Weg ins Studio, da treffe ich mich nämlich mit einer wirklich interessanten Person und zwar eSports Dog Matthew Hu und was der über die korrekte Körperhaltung am PC zu sagen hat, sehen wir jetzt. Today we're going to talk about the correct posture in while gaming. Exactly, we are. We're going to talk about why it's important and how to actually have better posture and maybe touch a little bit about the mouse and keyboard. Let me try. Like, All right. can you maybe help me with how how am I how am I supposed to sit? Okay. Well, uh, I always start with three things. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we always start with the mid back because that is the foundation for our upper body. Our head is on top of our mid back, our shoulders rest on our mid back. So we want to start there. And what I always say is you want to bring your chest up. You want to imagine like there's a string right over here mm -hmm. and they're pulling it up and out like that. Exactly. Okay. And oftentimes people might over arch the lower mm -hmm. back, just like you did, but you want to only have the movement come from your middle back. Okay. So it's very subtle, only small movement. There we go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, we want to make sure that we address what we see most commonly, which is this forward head. Yeah. And to do that, we just do something called a chin tuck. We tuck our chin slightly, not all the way back so that we have no. double chins. No, we, we don't, don't want, want that. No. no, we don't want that. So we want to make sure that it just stacks right over your head mm -hmm. or right over your shoulders rather. So you have your chest up first. There we go. And your chin tucked back perfectly. And then the last thing that we do is we bring your shoulders back. So we actually want to tilt it backwards not bring them closer together like this but if you start in the relaxed position we tilt it back like that exactly I so it's might a, have never done that <laughs> it's okay <laughs> it's a really subtle movement okay and that's that positions all of these muscles in a better place so that everything from here all the way down here will work a little more efficiently so we have the three we have chest up chin tucked and then shoulders perfect there we go The easiest thing that you guys have to remember mm -hmm. for ergonomics, for the mouse and the keyboard hand, is that you just keep things in neutral. Okay. And what I mean by that is, if I use your hand as an example, mm -hmm. neutral is zero degrees here from this side, and then if we take it from the side, it's zero from here to here. Okay. So, so we keep it straight. So from this angle, if let's say we're using the mouse here, mm -hmm. from the side, it should be between zero to 15 degrees. Okay, so it's okay that you keep your palm down here mm -hmm. as long as it's not bent up too much. Okay. And, right, and that can happen if, let's say, your elbows are too low and you have no armrest. Right? If you have no armrest here, sometimes they'll sure. hold it up like that. Yeah. Or they lean forward and it's bent up. So that's the one thing we look at. We look at the angle from here to here, right? Mm -hmm. And that looks good. And same thing here, that looks good. That's why it's important for the many keyboards that are out there that You know, we have, want to find something that allows you to have more of a straight wrist. They did some study that showed that if you dedicate 40 minutes a day for anything, any change in movement, you can improve or, or make that change in five days. Hey, we're not going to dedicate 40 minutes a day just standing like this. No, it's really exhausting. Yeah, but if we do five to 10 minutes a day, we can expect that in two to three weeks, our posture will improve. Because your muscles are getting used to it and exactly. getting stronger. Exactly. Not only getting stronger, but most importantly, getting just used to that position. So, das war mega interessant. Ich hoffe, ihr habt genauso viel gelernt wie ich und denkt immer dran, Brust raus, Schultern zurück, Kind zurück, damit wir auch schön lange durchhalten. Ich freue mich aufs nächste Mal. Bis dahin, eure Melli.